guys, it's Roy of MarvelCo12 and EpicDroid.com, and I am here today with the Senya Max fake leather case for the Google Pixel 7. Now, I have never worked with this company before. I've never even heard of them before. However, I was scrolling through Amazon, it popped up in my recommended items, and for only $10, I figured I couldn't go wrong. And I gave it a try, and I am super happy that I did. It's actually one of my favorite cases. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on my Pixel 7. Put it on the Pixel 7, we're going to... Put it face down like that. We're going to take the phone, power and volume buttons in first, slide those in, and then pop it in around all the corners. And presto, you're good to go. Now, a couple of things I'm going to show you guys here. The first thing is, is that there is a slightly raised lip here around the whole front of the device. You can see there that with my screen protector, it does go barely over the screen protector, so it's not a deep recess. So it's more of a light protection or a minimal protection. However, it is just enough there that you can set that face down without having to worry about your screen or your screen protector getting scratched up. And speaking of screen protectors, you can see here that it is screen protector friendly. It does allow the screen protector to fit on all the corners and does give a little bit extra room there around them so that that screen protector doesn't bunch up or crack when you put on the screen protector. You can also see here there is a slight cutout for the front facing speaker so you're not going to have any issues with your front facing audio there. There's not going to be any impediment to the noise and getting that great sound quality from the Pixel 7. Here on the side you will see that there are textured buttons for the power and the volume. There's no issues using those here. The power is very responsive. Volume up and volume down are super clicky and very responsive as well. Now here on the sides, it is a TPU, so it is a rubber. It isn't as grippy as I would like, however, it is grippy enough where I haven't had any issues and I have not dropped it in the two and a half weeks since I've started using it. You'll also see here that there is a cutout for your lanyard. If you want to put a lanyard loop through there, you can hook that on as well. Here on the back, we do have the main feature of the case. That is this fake leather here. It's a PU leather, so it's basically a artificially created leather. You will see here it does have this little metal piece here. I don't think it actually has a purpose, but it's a great little accent there that just adds some little extra flavor to it and it says code a new tactile experience and fashion made in china but the leather here feels very real it actually feels like a real leather to me and it hasn't like tarnished or anything in the two weeks that i've been using it it looks great still it doesn't pick up fingerprints it doesn't pick up the dust or smudges it just maintains that natural good leather look to it and i have been very impressed with it here around the camera we do have a harder plastic so it comes from the softer plastic the rubberized plastic up into the hard plastic to provide some extra protection for your camera bump. You will see here that there is a recess around that as well, so you can put that down without having to worry about that getting scratched up. Here up top, we have a cutout for your noise canceling mic, and then here on the bottom, we do have cutouts for your speakers, your microphones, as well as your USB-C charging port. There are no issues using any USB-C charger with that. I've been able to use just about any of them without any problems. And if you don't want to use a USB-C charger, this also supports wireless charging. So you just grab that wireless charger, set it on down, and presto, starts charging no problems whatsoever. So all in all, I super like this case. It is a great looking case. It feels comfortable in the hand. It is designed very well. It's protected my device and it stands out and it's something that nobody else has. Most cases these days all look exactly the same. If there's any variation, it's in color or in a few little features here and there. It was nice to see something that stands out, has different features, different colors, and it's so incredibly affordable. I can't believe that this case is only $10. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for a good case for their Pixel 7, and I'll have links in the video description down below where you can order one for yourself. If you guys have any questions about the case or about the Pixel 7, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and we'll reply as soon as we are available. If you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, just want to tell you guys thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support and you all have an awesome day.